Chapter 9, The City, just brought in so many more questions. Like seriously, we've got three chapters to go, and Minitoon is still adding mystery after mystery to the Piggy story. The biggest theory here is if he's ever going to be able to finish it all. But I think I've managed to identify a few little secrets hidden in the notes and the map itself that tell us we've been totally wrong about Mr. P. Is he as bad as we thought? Is he hiding behind the dumpster? Is he in the dang building window? Also, is he actually edible? Um... Well, make sure you watch until the end of the video to find out. Although, uh, not about the edible part. So, let's start ourselves off with the secret notes hidden around the map. Like the circus, we have four notes in total. Let's start off with an easy one. Poor Georgie. He disappeared when my family acted up. I hope he's safe. This note appears in Grandmother Piggy's poutine and recounts an all too familiar tale that kicked off this entire series. She talks about George Pig disappearing when the family starts acting up. Something we already established occurred when the family became infected with the virus. However, something I've noticed as the story is played out, Minitoon is emphasizing his disappearance with no mention of death or infection. But what about the missing poster that told us George Pig had red eyes? Surely that means he's infected, and it 100% would, if it was still in the game. For some strange reason, Minitoon has changed that missing poster, and now just has a picture of Brother Pig's model with the word missing across it. Odd. It seems like he had to change all the images due to copyright reasons. But why not just keep the same newspaper template? Why scrap it completely? I believe Minitoon has finally worked out what he wants to do with George, and that means keeping him alive and missing. For now, news of a cure has been going around, funded by Mr. P. Let's hope all goes well. Notice how this note is not signed by anyone. This tells us that it's just a random worker from Ellie Enterprises, which by the way is the name of the office building. However, it does reveal something new. It tells us this virus was active and being monitored before Mr. P was working on the cure. But then, why are the aggressive symptoms not reported until after Mr. P begins testing the cure? Well, what if there was already a virus spreading around the piggy world? One that is deadly and widespread enough to get the attention of office workers in the city. What if Mr. P, in trying to cure it, made it a thousand times worse into the zombie apocalypse? That's as far as we can get into that plot point for now. Now let's move on to... Ugh, TSP. I hate acronyms. Once again, who is TSP? The two prevailing theories is that TSP can stand for 1. The search party 2 the super potato, or three, the subscription peeps! No, I'm kidding, bud. Please subscribe, it really helps the channel out. And you get a free George Pig. But I am almost certain TSP stands for the super potato. And here's why. We need to start recruiting soon. I'll start with my closest friends. Notice how TSP refers to himself as I. I will start with my closest friends. Why would a group writing the note refer to themselves as I? TSP is definitely a person rather than a group. However, that doesn't mean he isn't in a group. We need to start recruiting soon. This would make sense if he was working on creating an organization. But what is this organization about? I think it's safe to assume his closest friends include Doggy and Foxy, since Foxy refers to TSP as one of the friends that left him to die back in the circus chapter. Once again, I don't think we can get much more information for now, so let's move on to the most important note this chapter. They've got what we want at the hospital. We get what we need, then we leave. TSP's group has been to the hospital, and something tells me we met them there. I'll talk more about this later, since this ties in with the identity of TSP, but keep this in the back of your mind. On a dark, stormy night, if you peer at just the right angle, you can see the shadow of a familiar figure peeking out the window. Mrs. Potato is here! We totally predicted she'd show up. Why is she there? Well. One thing you may not have noticed is that this is one of the buildings directly connected to the safe house. Mrs. Potato is in the safe house, but once again, 
What is she doing there? Is she there with Mr. P? But then why don't Pedro and Zizzy know him? Why don't Pedro and Zizzy mention Mrs. P when we tell them about Mr. P? If she's okay, where is Mr. P who obviously cares for her? Was she the one Mr. P was trying so hard to cure? If she's fine, why would Mr. P be fretting over a cure? See? So many more questions! However, I have a new theory that can answer most of these. What if Mr. P is actually a good guy? Ever since Metro, fans of Piggy have been out for Mr. P's head. Why would he give Bunny the potion? Why would he abandon us in the hospital? Everything seems so out of character. After every note we saw talking about Mr. P being an honest man looking for a cure. So what if he was out of character? What if the Mr. P we met all the way back in Chapter 5 wasn't Mr. P? What if the Mr. P we've been with the entire time was actually TSP, the super potato. Suddenly, everything makes sense. Us becoming sick at the end of chapter five was TSP poisoning us to force us towards hospital. He didn't want us infected. He wanted help in getting what he needed. The note in the city, they've got what we want at the hospital. We get what we need, then we leave. Fits perfectly with Mr. P's quick getaway on the chopper above the hospital. Even the note in the circus, Doggy and Foxy got what they deserved. Explains how we seemingly met Mr. P right after Doggy got infected. Because it wasn't Mr. P. It was the super potato this entire time. And if this isn't enough, in the Peppa Pig episode, Super Potato, the entire plot revolves around tricking the viewer into thinking Super Potato is just Mr. P in disguise until we find out they're separate people. Just like in this story where we thought he was Mr. Potato until he wasn't. Then this begs the question, where is the real Mr. P? Well, remember that dumpster at the end of chapter nine? If it was infected, it would attack us on sight. Also, as many have pointed out, the dumpster couldn't be a map for the chapter, meaning there will have to be a time skip before the next map, meaning we're going to interact with this person behind the dumpster and then move to a different map. Knowing this, the likelihood that this will be a good guy increases exponentially. And finally, why would Mr. P ever want to leave Mademoiselle Potato? Everyone, the fight is almost here. Thanks so much for watching. What are your theories? Let me know down below. And also, check out my suggestion reviews, where we look at suggestions in the Piggy Discord. Goodbye! Oh yeah, I'm 90% sure that the next chapter won't be farm.